What's up with you guys? It is your boy West Coast. So, yo, man, this is the official recap for Cowboys versus Giants. The Dallas Cowboys totally annihilate the Giants, just erasing them off the map by blowing them out 40 to 0. My score prediction video said I had them the score going 28-10. Boy, was I wrong. I knew the Giants weren't going to score very more, very many points on this team. Like, I knew it. Like, I kept saying if the Giants scored more than 10 points on the Dallas Cowboys that I was going to think that there was something dramatically wrong with our defense. Because on paper, the Dallas Cowboys are for sure the superior team, and they showed it yesterday. Just looking on defense, man, seven and a half sacks, um, two interceptions, two forced fumbles. Trevon Diggs forcing two fumbles on himself, one on Saquon Barkley. Um, the interceptions, you had the pop-up interception to Ron Bland. was able to get it into the house. Also, I'm going to tell you this right here, man. Um, you had three people get double-digit sacks. And um, Dorrance Armstrong, Micah Parsons. I think they had Micah Parsons down for one and a half sack. Like, this was a team defensive stopping of just amazing proportion. And to be honest with you, you got to remember, fellas, and fillets, my ladies who watch my content, listen, this is the NFL. Everybody kicks field goals. They didn't even allow a field goal, y'all. They left four quarters of zero, 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 zero. I am extremely ecstatic about this defense, who I've always said was the best, one of the best defenses in football, and I told you guys for sure was a Super Bowl caliber playoff defense. So salute to them and salute to those guys that just flat out play. play. This video will be five minutes if I go through everything this defense did, but I'm going to just tell you this right now. There was really no superstar of the defense because there was 11 stars. Just period. At some point, everybody. Like Marquise Bell had a ridiculous game. 14 was out there killing. He was out there knocking stuff down. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's like this video would be long as heck if I went through every single thing that they did on defense. Because this was just a total 11 guys ass kicking on defense. And they did their freaking job. And I'm going to tell you this right now. There's a reason why the Dallas Cowboys are 10-1 and one in the last 11 games versus the Giants, man. All right, offensively, I'm just keep it real with you guys. Offense, it started off slow. Now, I'm going to tell you all this right now. Yes, this is an excuse, but it's all an excuse is always going to be the truth wrapped up in something you don't want to understand. Dak Prescott didn't play in the preseason. Neither did the starting offense, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. It showed. It shows every year in the beginning. It shows every year. I'm just happy that we were able to have a defensive performance that we did to kind of overlook what the offense did at the beginning but the offense did start slow and it's kind of it, you know with all the changes and things that have happened on the offense it, it kind of makes sense but Dak Prescott was still you know he, I'm gonna keep it real with you Dak Prescott had a Cooper Rush game you know what I'm saying Cooper Rush last year we go 13 of 24 143 yards zero touchdowns zero interceptions and people be like Cooper Rush did exactly what he needed to do to win he's a great quarterback well we're gonna say the exact same thing about Dak because he did exactly what the Cowboys needed him to do and that is be a, a game manager why because man it was raining cats and dogs out there man and listen to me, salute to the Dallas Cowboys recognizing that and not doing what Kellen Moore would have did in the rain game and what, keep throwing the ball for 50 million times. The Dallas Cowboys actually did run the damn ball. Tony Pollard had 14 carries for 70 yards, five, averaging five yards a carry, two touchdowns. He actually had kind of like a Zeke game. Rico Dow, six carries, 24 yards. Kevontae Turpin had three carries, 14 yards, but he also had the nasty little rushing touchdown. Cowboys actually had three rushing touchdowns yesterday. Um, uh, also, Deuce Vaughn had six carries for eight yards. Listen to me. I love Deuce Vaughn, but you guys kind of saw why he's a third string running back yesterday. Now, remember, he's also in his first game. So, cut the guy some slack. But, I mean, there's levels to this. Deuce is going to be good by the end of the season. You'll see him blasting all season. I think he's going to be perfectly fine. CeeDee Lamb led the way with uh, four receptions, 77 yards. No receiver got any touchdowns yesterday. And Brandon Cooks had um, two receptions for 22 yards. I mean, for 22 yards. And I'm going to tell you, man, he is an angry mad man when he catches the ball. I love Brandon Cooks. Like, he's just so – like, he just looks like a little Goku or something. Like, he's just, like, he's just always pissed off, and I absolutely love it, man. Uh, Peyton Hendershot in the tight end room, they are lacking. Now, people are going to say, yeah, but Dalton Schultz only had two catches and beep, beep, do in Houston. Yeah, I know, but he didn't have two drops like our tight end room. Our tight end room looks suspect, but you know the good thing about it is since they are suspect, Dak probably won't throw it to him. He'll throw the ball to C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks more, and it'll work out for everybody. You know what I'm saying? All in all, the Dallas Cowboys did something that they have not done in a very, very long time, and that is shut a team out and put up a ton of points. The Cowboys clearly look like the best team in the NFL. NFC East, uh, the, the the Giants lost, um, the Washington struggled, and listen, Philadelphia, the Philadelphia is a first, they are one half team, like go look at that game, they're a one half team, 
They did the exact same thing they did in the Super Bowl. Come out looking good and just die the whole second half. But this video isn't about them. This is about the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys are clearly the best team in the NFC East. And salute to them, man. Salute to the Cowboys, man. This was a great win for the Cowboys. Great win uh, for the organization. And you guys already know what it is. Never look down because stars up. Peace.